Hey, what is up everybody? This is Alos Kalos here, and today I'm going to bring you a video on how to fix the Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain black screen crash at the beginning of the start, uh, when you start up the game. And, uh, I first known this issue because I was, like, when I first knew about this issue was when I actually had the problem, is that when I used to start up the game, the game used to crash. And if if you get a screen that kind of looks like this, I mean, I couldn't get a footage of the screen, so I kind of just remade it. It's basically a black screen when you start, and there's dots in the top right corner, kind of like this. It might be going in the opposite direction, but if your screen looks kind of something like this, this is how you fix it. And uh, you just have to, um, it's a resolution issue. So basically... What I mean by that is my resolution screen, as you can see, is 1024 times 768. And this is my screen resolution. I can't put it any higher or lower. Uh, this is, like, my my thing. So, basically, when you launch up the game, the game launches at this resolution right here. 1240 times 768. But mine is lower, as you can see. This is mine. This is what the game launches at. So basically, I get a black screen because the game resolution is too high for my PC. And that's what causes the game to crash. But there's a solution to this. Uh, so basically, uh, you want to get this link that I'm going to send you in the description. And... Um, You basically just want to click on the link in the description of this video, which is actually a Dropbox link, and it will lead to my Dropbox, a file called TPP Graphics Config, and this is basically the graphics settings, the uh, the settings just for the game, and you're just going to download this link. Okay, so once you download that, you're going to navigate to your folder, your finder, and you are going to go to your local disk local disk program files or or if you're like or program files time 68 whatever program files you use go to steam user data this long number 12629 and then you're going to click on 28 seven seven zero zero this file right here double click on that then you should click on local and if there's no local here create a local because uh, I don't think I had it just create a local you don't really it doesn't yeah if local is not here just create a file and name it local then if you open that up there's yours should be empty but my graphics thing is in here basically you're just gonna paste that graphics in here the TP uh, graphics config that you downloaded from the drop file just paste it into here once you do that you're gonna use a uh, program notepad or notepad plus plus I like it better it's more organized so I'm gonna use notepad plus plus and basically this is the settings I would recommend notepad plus plus I'll give you a link in the description too for that and this is basically all the settings right here from effects lighting models shadows textures once you have this, you want to go down here to the width and the height. This is basically the resolution. So when we open back up the resolution screen, as we can see, it's just like my resolution. See, 11024 uh, times 768. So keep in mind that the height's going to be the right number and the width is going to be the left number. So basically, you want to put your resolution in here. And if you don't know what your resolution is, you can figure it out by going to... If You can figure out your resolution by right-clicking on your desktop and go to Display Settings. This is Windows 10. Uh, I'm using Windows 10 right now. Uh, Windows 8, I, uh, I don't know, but Windows 7 I know is pretty much like in this area you can find it. But when you're on Windows 10, if you go here, there'll be Advanced Display Settings. You're just going to click on that. And my resolution is right here. This is the recommended resolution. I can't even boost it up higher, but when I do that, it will tell me it's not supported and stuff like that. But but this is the one that works. This is my resolution that actually displays correctly. So basically, you want to take this resolution 
and just type it in right here. So remember the left the left number is just going to go in the width and the right number is going to go into the height. Once you do that, you're going to click file, you're going to save it, and then after that you can exit out the file. Um the the model details and lighting and all that like a high low medium settings you might want to configure that too if your computer's really bad and it might not be able to actually run the game because of the, how like graphically demanding it might be but my computer was fine so after you do that once you launch the game uh it should work and you shouldn't really be experiencing any like black screen problems anymore so that's really it that's all there is to it if you're still experiencing the problem you might want to try to update your drivers or you still might want to update your drivers or try to um, clear out your like display settings there's there's other ways to figure it out you know I would just keep looking it up but for me in particular this is what fixed the problem and I feel like this is what's gonna fix the problem for most people okay so that's been this video and this is Alice Callow signing out.